Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark here on our cluster series, and today we're gonna be hatching up some of those wyvern eggs. And I've actually gotten some extra ones since you last saw. So first of all, these are all the bad ones that I'm gonna be turning into extraordinary kibble, which we'll do probably now in a second. Uh, I know 120 is the worst, but it's still kind of bad. So, um, and then these ones in here are the ones that we're gonna be keeping, of course. So we have. We got some 216s, but we're not gonna hatch those today. I'm gonna hatch the 204s. So let's just go through them all here. So 216, lightning, 210, poison, 186, fire, 180, fire, uh, 198, poison. We got a 186, lightning, and then these are the three uh, 204s, and then we got another 216. So that's really awesome, like the way that we actually got two of these as well. We just have tons of lightning eggs in here. It's crazy. I think just in general, we actually have mostly lightning eggs anyway so we have like no fire eggs even like the bad ones so it's kind of strange maybe they're just not laying eggs that much but um yeah i've also went ahead at, earlier on and i got myself a uh, domesticated beehive because i needed some honey of course so we can run that using rare flowers if you guys want to know how to get that you got to get like 50 honey and then you can craft it so i just hit up a bunch of beehives before this um, so yeah, now that we actually have some honey going, there's more inside the fridge. It's not just what's inside of that beehive. Uh, now that we have that done, we can go ahead and get going with some of the kibbles. So first of all, we're going to be making extraordinary kibbles. So we're going to need Lazarus chowder. So I have 10 eggs that I can make this with. So that means I need 10 Lazarus chowder for this. Let's go ahead and do that then really quick. By the way, guys, don't forget to hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. It really does help me out. Do appreciate it, of course. Uh, yeah, that's the right amount. Sweet. Let's see. So that is crafting up. Nice. So yeah, it's it's kind of interesting now with the like with the kibbles. Seeing as there's only like I, I guess six types. I was about to say five. There's only like five types. They they take very complicated recipes, especially towards the end. So there's the basic one. Uh, then we have the simple one. A little bit more complicated, you need fish meat for it. It's not too much of a bother though. Um, and then we got the regular one. Let's start to get into some jerky here. And then, which one's the next one? This one here, superior. You need sap for that one. Uh, rare mushrooms as well. And then, exceptional, you need the focal chili. I actually don't have any exceptional eggs. I gotta do that at some point. We gotta figure out what creatures we want for exceptional. I think we were gonna get some Therizinos or something. I don't know, we'll see. And then Extraordinary, you need bee honey and Lazarus chowder, it's crazy. So let's go ahead and pull for 10 of these then. Nice, all right, we're gonna have 10 Extraordinary Kibble. That should be more than enough to tame up a Thyla. That is gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna probably constantly chuck in eggs into here whenever I can and just make as much of this kibble as we can because it's gonna be slow because obviously you need a lot of different things like now we have the beehive going honey's not gonna be an issue but I'm still gonna have to have all the stuff for Lazarus chowder and then obviously have like wyvern eggs all the time pretty much for the uh, for the actual uh, kibble itself and let's check that in here to keep it nice and refrigerated and these are all the other kibbles that we have we actually need to craft more of the superior let's go ahead and actually do that really quick um, <clears throat> let's see, superior. I should have all the stuff for that. Let's go ahead and I don't know how much I can craft. Let's just hit 100. How many can we craft? 40, I think. Nice. All right, that is going to be awesome. So, yeah, we have the snow owls working. Uh, they're giving us eggs and then RG eggs are helping as well. So, I'm probably at some point just going to turn all the eggs again into kibble. I've been doing that a good bit, but, like, we just keep getting more and more eggs, of course. So, so yeah, let's see. So, I'm gonna have to come back to this probably. Because that's a little bit too slow. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get ready for our wyverns to be hatched. So, we want the three 204s. Um, there we go. 204, 204, and 204. Um, Alright, so one thing that we need to go and get is the uh, freaking, what's it called? The milk. So, I'm gonna drop those down. They're gonna get picked up by the hatchery and it's gonna start incubating them. Because otherwise it would take, I guess this really wouldn't take that long at all, actually. I'm going to sit here on like until these actually get picked up by that hatchery. Okay, good. Just in case they didn't get picked up and then they would hatch. And then I wouldn't get back here in time and maybe they might possibly starve. I don't know. Oh, there was a red drop. No, I would have gotten that. I didn't even see that thing. God damn it. All right, well, let's go over and grab our milk anyway. We, we didn't even grab it out of the fridge over here. And bam. 
Um, let's go ahead and grab it then. So it's in here. 20 milk, and I'm gonna, yeah, I'll leave that prime there. That is fine. Alrighty. So we have 20 milk to do this with. Should be enough. And what else? I don't think we need anything else specifically. We just kind of gotta, like, babysit them for a good bit. So let's, I don't know, maybe should I do this upstairs? I don't have, like, a proper spot to do this in. I guess for the moment I can start them in here and then move them out. I guess I don't know oh you know what I could do them down in the uh, the flyer pen down there but I'd have to hatch them down there and I don't think I'd be able to hatch them without the um, freaking thing the air conditioners and I don't have a generator down there so never mind I guess we're just gonna do it up here somewhere so these are all ready to hatch let's start it in here let's do them one at a time though bam oh my god you hatched super quick our first baby wyvern all right, let's go ahead and turn your wandering off. Okay, we gotta make sure to hit the right button. <laughs> oh wow, they look slightly different. I was actually, I was just gonna assume that they all would look the same because I, I guess they probably would have came from like the same mother, but maybe they didn't. These two look the same, but the other one's different. How is that a thing? All right, are all their stats the same? Hmm, I think, yeah, maybe it's because the father was like a different color or something. Hmm, alright, so we got two females and one male. That is awesome. Did I turn your wandering off? I did. Alright, cool. So that is amazing. Our first wyverns on this series and uh, the lightning wyverns, I'm... You know, Scorch has been out for years. Why haven't they fixed this? Why do they still lock down? It's so stupid. Let's disable ally look. That's the only way to make them look normal. It's seriously stupid. Like, Scorch has been out for years. This should have been fixed. <laughs> it's like, otherwise they're just staring at the ground. It's like, oh yeah, like, it's a nice wyvern, you know, just staring, it's staring down at its claws. <laughs> oh man. All right, so let's drop a milk into each of them. They probably don't need it immediately, but that is okay. We can do it anyway. We have plenty. And I mean, like, I can always get more if I need more. So I'm gonna go ahead and chuck that. I'm gonna chuck that in here. Because this one, this is the fridge with the least amount of stuff, so I'm gonna be able to find it quick. So how long until an imprint? 10 minutes, pretty much. All right, cool. So we'll be back in 10 minutes to do our very first imprint on our little gang of baby wyverns. All right, we're getting close. We are getting close. Oh wow, he just... What the crap? They just grew up like really fast there. They must have bugged out or something. That is so weird. Alright, what are you gonna need? You need milk! Let's go and pretend to be your mother. Uh, I'm gonna just grab out five. So, I don't know what you need. Do you need milk too? Milk. Nope. And you. 11%. They're so cute. This is, it's been a while since I've raised some wyverns. It really has. Oh man. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check this back in here. Alrighty, so I think it's time to get them out of the base because, oh, there's a red drop. No, this is more important. I'm sorry, it's got a ring. This is very important. How do red drops just keep spawning when I'm not looking? It's got a ring, I'm getting it. A river is just like all die really quick. <laughs> they get eaten somehow. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, Alright. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's not great. I mean, we did get a shoddy, but whatever. It's not great. <laughs> that sucks. Alright, so let's get back here. We just abandoned the babies. <laughs> this is hard. I'm a horrible mother. Oh man. Alright. Yeah. So we gotta get them out of the base. I don't know where I'm gonna put them. I think I'm just gonna like have them on the hill here or something. I gotta separate them a little bit because if I don't, then they're all gonna like roll inside of each other, which is never a good thing for siblings to be doing. <laughs> Let's see. And follow me, young wyverns. I might have to remove the door frame. I'm not sure before more red drops. I'm really disappointed about that one that we missed earlier, though. That really sucked. 
I hate when that stuff happens. You like see that stuff at the last moment and it's like, oh no, it's too late now. It's gone. It's gone forever. And I'm never gonna get whatever was in there. It's probably like an ascendant uh, long neck rifle blueprint. You know, the most useful thing I could probably need right now. Why did they all just stop in a line? Are they stuck? What just happened? They all just stopped in a line right there. That is so strange. It's like they planned it. All right, well, I guess I can leave them here. This is good for the moment. So you got nine minutes and you got nine minutes as well. So basically in nine minutes, we will be back. Oh, you know what? Let me show you. Ugh, I can't get in there. Let me show you what we got in here. We've got tons and tons of snow owl eggs. This is great. So we're definitely gonna be doing mutations on those at some point because I guarantee there's a decent amount in there already. And I'm gonna be stacking mutations on them too because that's like the best thing. <laughs> like, there's no point in just getting one or two. You gotta stack them. You gotta stack up as many mutations as you are willing to do because it takes ages. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna check this stuff back and we'll see you in around nine minutes. Okay, so this one wants a cuddle. What do you want? You want a cuddle as well? And they all wanted cuddles, weird. They all wanted milk first, now they all want cuddles. That's odd. All right, cool. So they're at 22% and they're not even at 20% on the maturation, which is good. From here on out, I could probably go ahead and just use the nanny to raise them. Um, but I'll do a couple more imprints because it's really cute when they do their little emotes and whatnot. So, I don't know. We'll probably just see you guys when they're fully grown. Yeah. I mean, there's not really much point in me showing every single one. Let's move you a little bit, though. Just kind of spread them out if I can. Uh, you know what? I forgot. Wyverns have, like, this really annoying thing where their follow distance, like, they'll, they'll stop following you unless you really lower down their follow distance or run really far away. So there we go. Just move them just a little bit. Uh, I don't have names for them, so hmm. Maybe come up with some. Leave some name suggestions down below for like three names, like three lightning wyverns, three names. Like they kind of have to connect or something. I don't know. There's probably something from like a movie or like a show or a book or whatever, like character names or something. Like three names, not the three musketeers, by the way. That's terrible. <laughs> so, I don't know, just something for them. We need we need cool names. Yeah. Let's get on over here. I might as well show you guys this drop. Looks like a yellow drop, though sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. It does look like a yellow drop, but it could possibly be a white, and I think it is actually a yellow. Yeah, we're good. It's a yellow. Sweet. Yellow and white drops are like, I don't know. From a distance, you can't really tell because the sky is so bright. So that was kind of a terrible drop, but it's okay. And let's get back to base. So all three of our wyverns are grown up now and I have no clue what to do with them. Like, <laughs> they are so big. I don't even know where to put them. I'm gonna have to like make something for them specifically because I don't really have a huge amount of space. Maybe like right here could be good because that doesn't really block too much pathway. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, they're um, they're pretty awesome. Here's what their stats look like all grown up. Actually, you know what? I thought that one of them had like 700 stam. Did they all have the same stats? Because I looked at the health. I'm not sure if I looked at all the stats though. Yeah, this one here is like more stamina. That one there is better. What's your melee? Yeah, this one here is like a lot better. Its health is the same, its stam is more, its melee is higher as well. It's just, it just got lower weight, so this one here is the best out of all three. That is awesome. Alright, well let's go ahead and pump some points into here. Get some stamina going. Awesome. Alrighty, so I have no clue what I want to do with these guys. I think it could be kind of fun if I could possibly kill a Giga, but I don't know if I can. It would be kind of difficult to do that. But we've got a level 66 Giga there. I think, what level? There's one over here too. I just don't know what level it is. So let's go back here and, and just take a little look. Um, I don't know if I could possibly do that. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have to see. I don't know if it's possible. Uh, where are you? You were like right here. There you are, hello. I think this is like 108 though, isn't it? No, it's a 24. All right, we could possibly kill this one. We just gotta find a good spot to shoot the lightning from. I do believe that the lightning wyverns are the best for killing um, 
gigas though because they've got like a lot of range although I guess poison would be good too let's see come here buddy just maybe shoot him just to get him aggroed can he get up this hill he could probably mostly get up this hill I don't know I don't know if this is gonna be possible he's out of range you know, yeah, the poison one's probably the best for killing Gigas because he can shoot from a, a decent distance. Um, I don't know if he's going to want a tango here. Oh, my mouse has gone off my screen. That's great. Yeah, he can get up here, can't he? Oh, yeah. Ow. That really hurt. <laughs> and I'm bleeding. No. Ouchie. Wow. All right. Um... Oh, you know what? If we could get him down here, that would work. Now, now he's distracted. See, that's the issue with Gigas. They always get really easily distracted. They're kind of like me. Oh, look, a penny. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can drop him down here into this little, um, like, ravine thing. It's not really a ravine, though. No. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on. Don't you want to attempt to eat me? Not gonna be able to. And he's down. Oh, could you imagine if he like somehow pulled himself up this side? That would be the worst. All right, let's see. Can I shoot him from here? What? How does that not count? How did that not count? That was like totally shooting straight through him. This is weird. All right, well, he keeps moving. Let's just gamma up so we can see him. Um, that should have counted, though. I don't know why that didn't work. Ah, oh, he just keeps running. Oh, hey, look, a Diplo egg. Although I think that that's only a superior. I do believe. I'm going to have to check, actually. I'm going to see what, what the Diplo eggs count for. I can't even hit him from here. All right. So the, uh, the Giga Dream is gone. We're not going to be able to kill that thing. It's gonna be too awkward trying to, uh, to try and hit it, so I'm not gonna bother. Let's kill this Diplo, though. That is a nice amount of damage. All right, yeah, I can work with that. That's pretty good. Let's get down here. There's lots of horses and some stuff. Better to just kind of like run around on the uh, Wyvern for the moment because they don't have the best amount of stamina, so I want to use that stam for like moving and uh, using the lightning breath. So that's the bite. That's pretty good too. Nice. All right. So we got like three of these wyverns to to raise, with not raise, but you know, like level. <laughs> so. I don't know, I feel like I'm just gonna focus on this one for the moment. Maybe we can keep those other two as like backups or something. You know what would have been kind of funny actually? We had the three 204 eggs. It would have been funny if we got like triplets on like all three. We would have had like nine 204s. That would have been crazy. You know, here's something that also that's kind of funny. Um, throughout all of my time playing uh, like Scorch Earth and Ragnarok and all that, I. The first time I got more than one wyvern from one egg was like over a year after, I think. It was like, it was when the Phoenix released, just before that. I was preparing to go ahead and like, we had a Scorched Shirt server at that stage. I was preparing to go ahead and, um, and like set up some stuff to get taming when that Phoenix came out. And uh, I stole a wyvern egg and it was like a really high level and then I hatched it and I got triplets So I've never I don't think I've ever gotten twins, but I got triplets before and that was my very first time getting more than one creature Or more than one wyvern out of one egg and it was crazy um, And I actually to be honest I got tons of comments of people saying oh I got twins and I was like I mean I've hatched so many eggs I don't believe that you got that because I've never seen that so like for the longest time I, I just believed that you could only get one wyvern from the egg, and I was so wrong. <laughs> I was just very unlucky, I suppose. So, um, yeah, it was kind of, it's kind of funny the first time. I was like, oh, wow, okay. I thought I was only gonna have one, great. And then I think, uh, I 
think I only had like enough milk for like one of them and then the other two starved. None of this was recorded though. This was all just like preparations on the Scorched Shirt server because I'd stopped playing on there at that stage and then the Phoenix was coming out and I was like, oh great, yeah, I'll just, I'll hop on here. This is easier. And then I, I think I did it in like single player instead because, uh, I don't know. I can't remember why. Go ahead and eat this dude. Alrighty. Actually, that Phoenix taming video was like, Oh, it was so good. Like, it went... I, I don't want to say, like... Kind of, it, it went kind of, like, trending in arc videos for, like, at the very start. And it was, like, shut up and views. And I remember I had people messaging me, and they were like, How the hell did you manage to already hit 100,000 views on that video? It's only been, like, three hours. And I was like, I don't know. I, I'm not doing anything special. <laughs> it was kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, that, that video was crazy, though. And let's wait for the stam to regen. It's it's so strange though. Sometimes like like if you cover new content in Arc, like here's a bit of a tip for any any like creators who are up and coming right now. Like obviously it's kind of hard to do nowadays because there's really no new content. But whenever there is new content, just go ham with it because like that's a, that's essentially how I grew my channel. Just like covering the new content, being like you don't have to be the first one, but definitely you know covering it on like. Pretty much like the same day is useful like don't make the video and release it the next day release it on the same day you don't have to be the first one to rush it out just get a good video and then just and just throw it out and people will watch that's how it works honestly um but yeah like i grew the start of my channel in a time when arc was like still getting heavily updated all of the time and it was great like every single month you get at least three or four new creatures, and it was really awesome. Like, I think the very first, uh, update, just as I started playing, like, Ark on YouTube, because I was playing a few months before I started making the videos, the very first, uh, update that I covered was, like, the Wally Rhino one, which seems like just so long ago at this stage, but, um, but yeah, the Wally Rhino, and I think what else came out in that update? I think the... Dunkley may have come out in that update as well. I think it was the Dunkley. The Dunkley Osteus, you know, the, if anybody doesn't know what, I, what the name is, it's the creature with kind of like the big, I guess, rock head in the water. It's kind of like a very thick skull. They're kind of they're kind of good. I don't really like using them though because they're slow as crap. They're like a tank and you can harvest like metal and oil and stuff with them. They're kind of useful, but at the same time, they just don't really bother. But, uh, yeah, that was, like, the the update. The Wooly Rhino and then that. <laughs> oh, man. Let's, uh, let's go over here and kill these Trinidadons. But, yeah, like, it's crazy. Sometimes you'll, like, throw out some update videos on Arc. Well, like, back in the day, you were able to do that. And then instantly, like, just massive subgrowth. And it was crazy. So, like, every single month, I'd, like, prepare myself mentally and physically. <laughs> and, like, get a crap ton of Red Bull. And stay up all night waiting for it to come out. And then stay up all the next day doing the videos. Because usually the update was delayed for, like, hours and hours and hours. So, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Been a long journey, though. We're almost at 500k. We're going to be hitting that pretty soon, I'd say. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's really been a crazy journey. Uh, unfortunately, most of, like, the growth that was, cap you know, people were capable of back in the day on this game is, it's just not possible now. Like, realistically, with this game, you're just, you're not, like, you'd have to have some really, like, unique content or, like, a really unique personality to actually, to grow heavily on this game or just get a video to go viral somehow. I don't know. <laughs> like it, it just it doesn't seem very possible now. Considering the fact that the game never gets updated. And when it does get updated, it's never anything like giant or any new creatures. It's always just a DLC, which is great. DLCs are fantastic. You could grow heavily off of a DLC. Like I mean, hey, my channel is several years old and like Extinction was fantastic for me. I grew like I think I got like 60 or 70 thousand extra subscribers specifically just from covering that and like I think I had like 10 million views in November when it came out. It's crazy But like at the same time they don't update the base game anymore really just DLCs and we have to wait like a year for those so I don't know 
<laughs> it's just kind of strange looking back, like it doesn't really seem that possible anymore. Oh man. Which kind of sucks for anybody who is really trying. Like, I, my best bit of advice is don't just stick with this game, play other stuff too, because this game is, it's not, you know, dead, it's far from dead. Like, people say Ark's dead, I would say that you're an idiot if you're saying that. I mean, like, it still has, like, 40, 40,000 concurrent players on Steam at any given time, usually. Um, any given time, usually. <laughs> so... I mean, I don't, that's just excluding, like, every other platform that people play on, so the game is far from dead, but it's just not being updated, that's the only thing. So it's kind of hard to grow a channel unless there's new stuff to show, because otherwise, you know, everybody's already seen it. But I'm still loving the game, though, seriously. Alright, let's see. A little bit more stem. Alrighty, so let's wait for him to fully regen on that, uh stamina and then we can head out i want to actually see what egg this is under i do believe that that is uh, an exceptional egg which is the mastercraft tier i suppose i do believe that it is because the size of it like it just makes more sense if that would be i don't know it could possibly be it might be wrong as well at the same time i don't know <laughs> let's see all right anything in here to kill Oh, you know what? We should keep an eye out for some Thylas as well. Um, yeah, we gotta keep an eye out for those, because I do want to try to tame some Thylas soon enough. Because I want to get some crazy Thyla breeding, and that means, like, just taming tons and tons of Thylas until we have, like, the best stats, or, like, just amazing stats. Actually, I don't know how many people have actually noticed this, I now know why the water is like reddish. It's not that red here, but over there, look at that. That's ridiculous looking. I now know why the water is red in the redwoods and also, I guess, in the rest of this map. Apparently, I didn't actually even know this. My girlfriend told me about this. I don't know where she read it, but apparently, and I guess maybe some people already know this too. I'll get on with it, don't worry. <laughs> when Extinction was, I guess, in development, they Instead of making brand new, like, little water sources, they used the ones from before and just changed the color because they weren't being used on any maps besides Ragnarok. So, you know the, like, reddish water in Extinction? Kind of close to, like, the... What is it? The, the ice? The ice biome? The snow biome? Whatever? They turned that water to red, and those are the exact same water bits that they used on Ragnarok here. So now half of the water on Ragnarok, that's like river, you know, like this water here where it's kind of like, and maybe even on, on the center as well, could possibly be on the center. It's this type of water here where you can like lie down, I'm not losing oxygen in here, but I could drink from it. It's that type of water where like it doesn't slow you down either, it's kind of like moving water. So they turned all of that to red and that's why this looks so weird. So yeah, super dumb i mean like why didn't you just create new water instead of changing the color of something that already existed and therefore the ragnarok map got affected by that at least like that's what i heard so i'm just gonna like take it from that <laughs> so yeah really really stupid i don't like that at all oh you know what let's go grab this artifact there's an artifact in here i think it's the artifact of the brute let's hop in here and grab it um, there's that way in, but, oh, I can bring a wyvern in here, I do believe. Let's go ahead and just walk him in. Oh, I can't, okay, I can't land, apparently. Let's just land here and run in. So, yeah, the, the artifact's just sitting in here. This is one artifact where I was kind of surprised that they, they actually didn't move it at all, because they moved a bunch of the other ones. There was one that was, like, I, I don't know if it's still down there. It's the artifact of the Devourer, and, uh, dude, that artifact is, like, in Tuso territory there's i one time I, I think most people probably remember this one time in the ragnarok series i went down there to get the artifact and there was like there was like a thousand tusos i'm not even kidding i wish i was kidding because like it was terrifying there was like so many tusos though and um i don't even know <laughs> they like over spawn but i think that they move that artifact which is so stupid because this one in here could easily be moved like, why does it have to be right here? They could have put, like, 
that one into the maze and kept the devourer one down there. I don't know. I do believe that they moved it. I might be wrong on that, but somebody told me that they moved it and I haven't checked since, so yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. So this is a very talky episode, I've just realized. Let's have a little look around to see if we can spot some thylas. The redwoods here is great because there's just so many of the redwoods trees. And it's all quite bright in here too. So it's a little bit easier to spot them than on the island. Because in the island, like I feel like the redwoods trees are like packed very close together. That's mainly because they added a giant biome after already creating the map. So they didn't really want to affect it too much or spread the redwoods out too much. So, Although I guess that's what the redwoods is supposed to be. A bunch of trees packed close together, but I don't know. <laughs> I feel like there's way too many. There's not enough like open areas in that map. Um, yeah, I don't see any thylas. Like they are quite common here, but at the same time, like you could miss them easily because of all those leaves. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any. That sucks. Another good spot to look for them is in the desert, I do believe. You can find them down there. Can you? I'm pretty sure that you can. Well, you know, you can find them somewhere else in this map, I think. Not just here. But to be honest, actually, it might be better to look in Scorch. Oh, there's there's one. Hello, you missed me. Whew. That actually would have been really bad. Also, that would have scared the crap out of me. That thing had to grab me. Whew. Uh, another, like, a good place to look for them is in Scorch. Oh, that's a... Oh, my God, that's a 180. Dude. That is, like, the luckiest thing. Okay, you know what? <laughs> that is amazing. We freaking found a 180. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is awesome. That thing looks like it's red as well. It looks so cool. Um... Yeah, I was gonna say that it would be really good to look on Scorched for them because Scorched, like, they, they just spawn on, like, the mountains and stuff, and they're gonna be really easy to spot there. So, yeah, that is awesome. Um, we're totally gonna be taming that. I think we're, I think I know what I'm doing in the next video. But, uh, yeah, that's probably it for today, guys. Um, if you guys are excited for the next video, go ahead and subscribe because that's totally gonna be happening. I guess it's gonna be a Thyla video, and now that we actually have the exceptional kibble, this is perfect. Oh man, this is awesome. Alright. <laughs> well anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can of course subscribe. What do you guys think about the Wyverns? Make sure you leave some name suggestions down below for all three of them. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one.